Hey everyone, Grammy G here. Welcome to my channel. Like, subscribe, and share. Uh, really helps out the channel, gives an old person something to do. And today I'm going to be talking to you about more pain relief. Now you're probably saying, hey, you've already talked to us about pain relief before in the past with my uh, doTERRA Deep Blue, for instance. Uh, but sometimes it's good to switch out your products because if you're using a product for too long, maybe it might not work after a while or something. Maybe you find that it's not as effective. So sometimes I find switching up my products really helps in um, you know doing pain management. And it's all about pain management, right? And uh, I'm not on any prescription medication, by the way. It's been a long time since I've been on uh, prescription medication. And that's something you need to talk to your healthcare provider about if you are on prescription pain medication. But Here's what I've been using, and always check and make sure you're not allergic to any of these products, of course, as well. So one of the things that I use, as well as, you know, my doTERRA Deep Blue, is essential oils. Now, one of the essential oils that I use is called Soar No More. <laughs> Says it all, right? Yeah. So this is by Revive, and Revive essential oils are really awesome. I really like, they are pure, you get them directly from the manufacturer, I order directly from Revive, so there's no middleman, there's no middle cost. So first of all, they are cost effective, these oils. And this lasts a long, long time. It's not a very big bottle. This is 10 mils. So uh, I'm not sure how much that would be in ounces. I'm not 100% sure, but this is a 10 mil bottle. And so, it, and it is full. When it comes, it is full. And you just need a few drops in your carrier oil. Now, what I mean by carrier oil, you're always going to mix your essential oils. You're never gonna put an essential oil directly on your body. You're going to mix it with a carrier oil. So I use either jojoba, I hope I'm saying that right, jojoba. And again, it is by Revive because their prices are amazing. And I also use their coconut oil. Now that one has been through the ringer and back. You can tell I've been using this a lot. Um, it's got coconut oil all over the label. Um, so I use the coconut or the jojoba. I think they have another one as well. I can't remember what it is, almond maybe or something like that. But again, you need to make sure you're not allergic or sensitive to those things. Now I have really super sensitive skin. Uh, seriously, there are times that I'll have welts on me and I'll have no idea why I have welts on me. Now this would have been years ago. I haven't had anything like that happen in a long time. So for instance, one time, uh, this would have been about five or six years ago, I went for a walk across my lawn out in the backyard and you know, I was looking at my flowers, checking out the veggie garden and came back and uh, about an hour later, my ankle was itchy. So I went down to scratch my ankle and there was these bumps and I'm thinking, oh, what's that? And I looked down and there was three teardrop shape blood blisters I kid you not and they were like you know yay big each and I'm thinking what did I get into and I have no idea not a clue my doctor thinks I was bitten I don't know not a clue don't remember being bitten by anything and where we live we don't have poisonous anything really but you can react to spider bites I reacted to a black fly bite this summer um, I still actually have the mark on the back of my leg. It is now middle of September almost, it's September 12th. And I got the bite the first week of July. So I actually still have the mark on my leg from that black fly bite. So yeah, I react to things. So I have to be careful of what I put on my skin. So revive essential oils and revive products. So far, nothing. I haven't reacted to any of their products yet. They're awesome. So you take some of your oil, your carrier oil, and I also got these from Revive too. These are little roll-on applicators. So you can see it has a little roll-on ball on the top and you know it moves around really nice. And so you can apply your oil and your essential oil. And what I do is I put my essential oil in here first, put however many drops it suggests on each bottle because each bottle is a little bit different, I think in their application and they have it on their website as well. Um, I don't think it, no, maybe it doesn't have it on the bottle, I'm sorry. No, but I think it has it on their website, how many drops to use of each product. So I use the Soar No More with my carrier oil and oh, and to get that roller ball off, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna take your cap and you're just going to give it a little bit, you're gonna use the cap as leverage to get that off. And I'm not gonna take it, well, I guess I did take it all the way off. So there, it did come off, comes off pretty easy and then it just pops back on 
and there you go. So you put your carrier oil in your roller uh, bottle first, your few drops of your essential oil, give it a little bit of a mix and you're, and you're ready to go and it's good to go for a few days, a week, whatever. Uh, the other oils that I also use for pain management are the Peppermint Oil by Revive and as well as the Organic Frankincense. Really like that one. That is awesome. And sometimes I'll put a drop or two of each of these in as well as my Soar No More. And uh, it's super effective. So for me, it's my lower back, my legs, um, up around the trap area, you know, up through here, your trapezoid area. Uh, right right there at the back lower part of your neck your shoulders that get sore sometimes you know when you're working and uh, of course my arm I have a little bit of itis in my arm right here so that kind of helps and so these oils really help for pain management and like I say I switch my products out every once in a while I just feel like okay you know mm, it's better that if I use this now and but I do travel with my uh, doTERRA uh, deep blue because it's it's just you know uh, in a lotion kind of you know form so it's easier to travel with now it's not carry-on size that's the only thing whereas this would be carry-on although you might want to put a label on this because they wouldn't know what it is maybe but obviously a dog's not going to pick up on that so I mean you know obviously um, you know you're, you're safe carrying this I, and I've carried this as well on a trip um, you know and um, taking my oils with me, but the oils, mm, you know, I'm scared that they might get spilt or, you know, broken or something like that. So I don't usually travel with them. Um, anyway, guys, hope this has been helpful. Hope, hopefully this is something that you can share with someone as well, that uh, this is something that can help you with your pain management. And we'll talk to you later. God bless.